Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a moving vlog part two. It's gonna basically be gonna be me like going through things in my room and just starting to like really pack up things. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so I've lived in this house uh, literally my entire life and I have decided that I do not want to be such a hoarder and clutter so much because I have so much clutter and so many things that I just don't even need. And because I've lived here my entire life, I basically have never really went through all of my stuff, or at least that I can remember. Obviously, as a child, I did. But, like, probably in a year or two, I have not, like, went through and just deep cleaned everything. So I would literally just want to go through things and just start throwing things away because... I For example, I have four drawers on my bed. Um, The only drawer that I used was that one. Here is a random drawer of random things. Okay, so I emptied out that drawer. I threw away a lot of stuff, but there's also a lot of stuff I want to keep. Okay, so here's the first time that I ever looked at the house. So right in here is where my parents' bedroom will be. This is the master bedroom, and this one is downstairs while the rest of the rooms are actually upstairs. Their bathroom is freaking huge. Like, look at this sink. Like, this is a big sink. And then you walk in here, and then is a big, huge laundry room because we've never had a laundry room that big. And then you go upstairs, and up the stairs, there is first a bathroom, which you will first see, which also has a really big sink. This will be my brother's bathroom. So in this house, there's one bathroom for my parents, one bathroom for my brother and I, and then one bathroom for the guests. There's also a closet in the bathroom and a good size shower. And then whenever you go to the left, there's like this um, loft area. And then there's this bedroom that will actually be my brother's bedroom because my parents want to give him the biggest bedroom because I've always had the biggest bedroom and yeah and so here's where my brother's room will be and then you walk past the bathroom towards like this back corner area and this is where i'm hoping for my room to be um originally i was not wanting my bedroom to be there just because i didn't like like it that much but then i realized that i actually have a lot of good ways i could decorate this room so this is what i'm hoping will be my bedroom um yeah and there's a little reading nook that i could just put like bean bags and stuff there which will just be so 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 cute um, and then you go in here, and here is where the office is going to be. My parents, instead of wanting a guest bedroom, they actually wanted an office. Um, there's actually a dog in there currently. Um, but yeah, here's where our office will be because my parents basically work from home like half the time. Okay, so I think that I want, I think I like this room the best because the other room is just like a straight square. And I just feel like it'd be really hard to just fit my bed in here. But like if I took my bed and I put it up against that. You could put it in the corner, maybe. And then put like my dresser over here, made my desk over here, and then just a little nook over there. And that'll be a lot. And that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good size closet. So, this is the dining room, and then this is the kitchen. Okay, so as you can see, there are two drawers right here on my bed. My mom has already emptied those out and put them into this box. But the problem is, there's also drawers on that side. Um, so I need to get to those drawers so that. I can like, you know, empty it out. So we're not supposed to bed, and I got this box that we can put stuff in. So we're gonna take this box first, and then we're gonna get to work. Know how to take the box, but we'll figure it out. Fun fact, um, this has been my headboard for a couple years now, but we're actually getting rid of it because it is a big, sturdy headboard, as y'all can see, and we are moving from a one-story to a two-story house, and I don't even know if we're even hiring movers or not, but we basically do not want to bring this up because the thing is, the only way to get this upstairs and to even get this through my door is to take it apart, and by the time you take it apart... I don't know if we could take it apart successfully without breaking it, honestly. So my parents, we're just getting a whole new bed frame. Um, plus this one has a bunch of wear and tear on it. And I don't know, it's cute, but you know, I think that this one, it's time to retire it. So we're also gonna be getting a new bed frame. I'm planning on getting like a little metal one, like black metal bars, or maybe it's silver, like, um, and yeah. So that's kind of my plan for my new room is 
I'm gonna keep this desk, gonna keep my dresser. I also have another dresser that I used to have. It's like basically this long. And I might use that one as well, um, just because I don't have a huge closet. They're actually a pretty small closet in our new house. So I might honestly have two dressers in my room just because I'm getting the point where I'm having a lot of clothes. So I might have two dressers depending on like how much room I have. And then I'm still gonna have my queen size bed, but I'm just gonna have another like frame. And so yeah, I think basically, I might not even have my desk in my room. Like, I, I don't know, it really depends because we're gonna have an office. And so I might just put my desk inside my office. I have no idea exactly like, I don't have an exact plan of what I wanna do yet, but like there's a rough plan. Okay, I have also decided at this point in time that I'm going to take down my curtains because they're honestly kind of gross and dusty because my curtains are so long that they've been touching the floor. And it's honestly just gross and I don't... I'm just going to go ahead and pack them up, so... Bruh. Okay, so I, I found a whole bunch of things inside of this drawer. So first I found all these little beanie boos and all these animals. Don't mind that dog on there. Um, so I found all that. I found this projector, um, which I haven't even used really. I've used it like a couple times. found this alarm clock. Um, and then I found some like sweet little old things. So I found this Fearless. No, no, sorry, not Fearless. I think this is Speak Now, right? I wanna say this Speak Now. I don't know what it is. I think it's Speak Now. This Taylor Swift's album in the 1989. Uh, I used to have a little DVD player. Um, I used to always listen to all my music too. And then I found a bunch of pictures of me and my old friends from like elementary school who I'm no longer friends with. I found a bunch of my report cards. And then I found these old books. So before my grandparents passed away, um, whenever I was like a kid, they made these books for us for all the great grands. So I was a great grand kid. Um, and it was them like singing, like saying story times to us. And so basically the entire book is switching off to my great grandmother and my great grandfather and um, they're like reading off the book and it's, it's adorable. And then I found this little Nelson Bible trivia book and then this is my favorite book as a kid, Night Night Emily, um, because you know it's my name. And then books that my grandmother gave me. And then I also found this little folder that says Emily on it. Um, all about me. My name is Emily. Here's a picture of me. Okay, so this had to be made in kindergarten, I want to say. Because um, this picture was before I even... Ah, don't chew with that. Uh, this picture was made before I even moved to Texas. So this was obviously in kindergarten. This is a picture of my family. There are four people in my family. And then there's my mom, my dad, my brother, and me. And yeah, my brother was a baby. So yeah, I was probably five. My birthday is on April 6th and I am five years old. And I drew five little candles. I like the color pink. I enjoy drawing. I do not currently enjoy drawing that much, but I did enjoy it a lot as a kid. My favorite food is pizza. No, that is no longer my favorite food, but it is a good food. When I grow up, I want to be, okay. Um, I don't really know what was drawn here. It says nurse, and then it also says cowgirl. So maybe I wanted to be a nurse who was a cowgirl. And yeah, that was an all about me project from probably like literally kindergarten, that's adorable. I didn't realize that this drawer had like sentimental stuff in it. That's really sweet. I really like that. That's like really sweet stuff. I wasn't expecting to see that. That just like pulled up my heartstrings just a little bit. Um, that was really sweet. I really enjoyed that. Okay, so in the drawer all the way to the left, I found a lot of like rant, like absolute random things. First of all, I found poster board, like so much poster board, like an insane amount of poster board. And then I also found paper, notebook paper, just notebook paper. Um, I don't know why there was so much notebook paper in there, um, but there, there's a lot. So I'm gonna go, 
Probably gonna put this inside my parents' office because they're the ones that probably want this and not me. Um, and then I found a whole bunch of random journals, like, in all of these, what makes it even worse is all of these are, like, half written. Like, all of these I've written some things in, except for, like, two. So, I have all these journals that I haven't even wrote stuff in. Um, and then I also found Expo markers. I don't even own a whiteboard. Um, I found this little journal. So in middle school, I really suffered really bad with anxiety. And one of my guy friends, I was best friends with him, and he wrote me this little journal um, where I could like write whenever like I had bad anxiety and stuff. And he basically started the journal off by writing just about, you know, um, that he loved me and stuff and that like I would get through it. Um, because middle school is a really low place for me. So no, I just, that's really sweet. I'm definitely gonna keep that. Um, I found some books from middle school. I found The Fault in Our Stars, which was my favorite book in middle school. And then I found The Outsiders, which we write in class. And there's still all my cute little annotations in it um, from eighth grade year. I love The Outsiders as well. This one was obviously not a book read in class. This one was one that in the state of Texas, I think every school basically has to read it. And then here was a book called Unbound. I believe that it's a book, it's a book about a, I think it's a book about um, during like whenever slavery was going on. And I think that it's about a girl escaping slavery, like um, the underground railroad. I might be wrong, but it's like, um, it's like a poem book. Found that, found a random little thing of mac and cheese that's not open. I found a Never Have I Ever game. Um, which kind of scares me because if I bought this in middle school, this worries me because I know that I didn't do anything in middle school that would have been on here. So, um, and then I found all three of my yearbooks from middle school. So a lot of these are just going to be like safekeeping. And a lot of these were just like cute little memories, but I'm going to go find a place for all of them. Okay. So I have a bag of stuff that I'm throwing away that I just don't need anymore. And then I gave my dog one of my stuffed animals back. And I am putting a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so I found like boxes from like the top of my closet and like random things, random boxes. And random things. So we're gonna go through them. So I have this sweater, so I'm going to go hang it up. Okay, so I found this tutu, but I'm gonna keep it because my school colors are red and black. So it's honestly kind of smart to keep it for like game days and spirit days so this is actually low-key kind of smart not even gonna lie another box um there's a bunch of boxes on the bottom random shoes volleyball just like random stuff in here okay so it's the week before we move about um and we got this oh this is a lot bigger than i was expecting this little thing and we got this pod so basically it showed up at our house this morning so how do you like move this from place to place so they have this have this truck trailer thing that has four tires on it mm -hmm. and it literally comes and it has chains and it picks it up and it goes and puts it on the truck it's like a little um it's like a little crane that moves like it's got an engine on it and like all the wheels turn so when are they gonna come pick this up whenever we tell them okay what did y'all just buy this what's this your mom bought that that's gonna go to the entryway this is like an entryway table the garage is pretty messy at the moment so we have a lot to do and not a lot of time. Also, our garage ceiling used to have just a big hole in it, but it's fixed now. Like that, we used to just not really have a ceiling. Um, and but yeah, we're fixing that. Okay, so we're going through my shed, and my parents just found this little. This is like my little bag of house kit that I took everywhere. It has all my American Girl doll clothes in there. There's a hat, American Girl doll dog, some shoes, a wool bathrobe. Hey, does that mean that my American Girl dolls are in there somewhere? No. Okay, here is a box of full of random cleaning supplies. Yeah, today is like a freaking working hard day. Um, also, my parents this morning, um, I, I probably already showed y'all. If not, I'll show y'all eventually. Um, they took apart my white bed frame. Y'all probably seen that before. And they took us a dump because they, you can't, like, you can't really move that bed without taking it apart. So we just cut a hole in a better frame. We're going through the shed right now currently and deciding like what we want to throw away and keep. 
Okay, so I've made some progress. I basically put all of that drawer basically in there. Um, and then here's what I have. And then I need to like go through this and decide what I want to keep here like while we're moving. Okay, so I have like one perfume in a bag somewhere that I want to uh, keep. Um, I don't want, actually I might need to keep this because if I wear a tank top or something. Um, I don't think that I need any body wash. I have this much left. So that'll last me a week, hopefully. I don't use like any of these lotions. Um, here's a body wash that I don't use. Like I haven't used yet. Like I just have a bunch of lotions and a bunch of Bath and Body Works stuff that I just like don't really use right now because I just haven't used them yet. Because like I feel like every single Christmas people give me a whole bunch of Bath and Body Works stuff and then I always have so much. Um, Here's two random deodorants. Okay, so here are my shelves now. And then it's just- Okay, so I'm kind of going to go through this and put things that I probably will not need into there. Probably just like a bunch of clock clips. Okay, I'm grossed out by how much freaking hair there is at the bottom of like my hair drawer. Like where I keep like, okay. all my hair. So I just kept the necessary things that I'm going to need in there for the next couple of days. And then like I cleaned out the bottom of the drawer so that's clean. Now let's go to the bottom okay, This is literally just like random stuff. So. Okay, all of it was just random stuff. So I just put it all Okay, in so that was the end of the video. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and comment down below any video ideas you have. And keep up to date because we're about to move into our new house literally in two days. So yeah, y'all keep up to date with these vlogs because the next one, gonna be chef's kiss. Y'all have an amazing day and I will see y'all later. Mm -hmm.